What's up y'all? Today I'm going to be watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for the first time. After loving the Sorcerer's Stone, I am so excited to see how they progress the story now that Harry actually knows that he has magic. You guys said this one still keeps that kid-friendly tone while still expanding the lore and story of the Harry Potter world and that's probably what I'm most excited about with this movie. And a quick shout out to the Harry Potter experts that left a lot of comments explaining some of the deeper parts of the movie and stuff that was left out from the books. I'm happy to have you guys here during this Harry Potter marathon to fill in the gaps that I'm going to have moving forward. If you want to watch the full reactions, check out the Patreon in the description down below. There's a seven day free trial right now, which gives you access to all the previous full length reactions. Let's just go ahead and get right into Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Title card out the gate with this one. Okay, so we're just jumping straight in. Hey, look at Harry. Aw, see, looking at his book. Whenever he's feeling down, he can just look at him and his parents. Oh, yeah, Haran or Hermione, too? I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. If Uncle Vernon... Harry Potter! What do you mean he can't let him out? No, you've done it. Also, is he out of the closet? He's got his own room now? Upgrade! <laughs> My man's got to upgrade! We've raised you since you were a baby, given you the food of our table, even let you have Dudley's second bedroom. <laughs> Dudley's second bedroom? Look, this could well be the day I make the biggest deal of my career, and you will not mess it up. Okay, he's doing some business deals. <laughs> Harry Potter, such an honor it is. Who the hell is this? Dobby the house elf. Dobby. Dobby wonders where to begin. Why don't you sit down? Sit, sit down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Dobby, shush. I'm sorry. He's so emotional. Dobby has heard of your greatness, sir, but never has he been asked to sit down by a wizard like an equal. They treating Dobby bad out here? Bad, Dobby. Stop. Dobby. Dobby, chill, man, chill. Please stop. I just ask you to take a seat. <laughs> you gotta stop headbanging. Dobby is bound to serve one family forever if they ever knew Dobby was here. But Dobby had to come. Dobby's out here after curfew? Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry this year. Why not? Who's plotting them? Yeah, yeah, hey. word. <laughs> <laughs> the head trauma this poor house elf has given himself, man. Get in there and keep quiet. What the devil are you doing up here? Just ruin the punchline of my Japanese golfer joke. Sounds like a bad joke anyway. Which did you a favor? I belong in your world, a Hogwarts. It's the only place I've got friends. Friends who don't even write to Harry Potter? Well, I expect they've... Hang on. How do you know my friends haven't been writing to me? Harry Potter mustn't be angry with Dobby. Dobby hoped if Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, Harry Potter might not want to go back to school. Dobby, you've been holding out on Harry? Give me those now. No! <gasps> oh my god, Dobby, please. I don't want to be mean to Dobby, but he's about to fuck up some stuff, man. Dang, he's magic like that? Please, no. Harry Potter must say he's not going back to school. I can't. Hogwarts is my home. Then Dobby must do it, sir, for Harry Potter's own good. No, Dobby, no! I mean, he's looking out for Harry for some reason, but at the same time, he's not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, please. Oh, and it looks like Harry just dropped it. It's my nephew. He's very disturbed. Meeting strangers upsets him. And he just vanished without consequence, you bastard! My god, they're making his room a fucking jail cell. You're never going back to that school. You would think that they would want him to go. All the trouble that Harry causes them. But instead, now, he is straight up locked in. Damn flying car? Run! Hiya, Harry. Can't stop that from happening, Dobby. Come on, get your trunk. So Hagrid's got a flying bike, Ron's got a flying car, every uh, flying brooms. Everything flies in this world. Surprise people can't fly. Oh, 
prison break. We got a prison break, baby. Let's go, Ron. Yeah, look. Look at all the chains and shit you got to undo. You did that to yourself. Hey, kick his face. Kick him in the face. Get off. Drive. That's about to say. Just drive the car. Look at you. Broke your spine. He's fine. Look at him. Harry, you do realize you have to come back next year, right? Like, they're going to make your life living hell once you come back, probably. Damn. Moving out in the middle of nowhere. See, magic can do your dishes for you. I want to be a wizard. <laughs> Please. Where have you been? They were starving him, Mum. There were bars on his window. Well, you best hope I don't put bars on your window, Ronald Weasley. Ron's a real one. That's the best friend right there. Said, my dude Harry is hungry out here. I broke him out and I fed his ass. How are you going to be mad at me, Mom? Morning, Weasleys. Morning. Oh, Ron's dad. Dad works in the Ministry of Magic. In the misuse of Muggle Artifacts Office. And who are you? Oh, sorry, sir. I'm Harry. I was about to say, you don't know my oh, name, dog? They know me in the streets, oh. man. Come on now. Your sons flew that enchanted car of yours to Surrey. Did you really? How'd it go? Oh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Ron's dad, the goat, already. You must know all about muggles. Tell me, what exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Um, it's a good question. I don't even know that. Well, that could be error with the post. What's wrong with their owl? <laughs> huh? Open the window for our guy. Oh, look, it's our Hogwarts letters. And they've sent us Harry's as well. Dumbledore must know you're here, Harry. Doesn't miss a trick, that man. Nothing passes that man. There's only one place we're gonna get all of this. Diagon Alley. Oh dang, we're going back to Diagon Alley? Diagon Alley! Green fire teleportation? Ooh. That is the hardest mode of travel I have ever fucking seen. If I could just Come on, burst into flames and teleport where I wanna go. Walmart. <laughs> Don't forget to speak very clearly. Diagonally. What did he say, dear? Oh my god, did he say it wrong? Oh my god, he said it wrong. And he cracked his glasses, damn. May I ask where in the hell we are right now? Harry, stop touching stuff, dude. I was about to say, stop touching stuff, man. Is this still Diagon Alley? Not lost, are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. I, I was just... Come with us. We'll help you. Harry. Hagrid. What do you think you're doing down here? Hagrid. Thank God for Hagrid. Hagrid saved Harry's ass from a sketchy situation twice now. Don't want no one to see you there. People are thinking you're up to no good. What are you doing there then, Hagrid? What were you doing down there then? Exactly. I was looking for a flesh-eating slugger palette. <laughs> Harry. Hey, there's Hermione too. Got a little family reunion right here. What did you do to your glasses? Oculus for Paris. Hey, see every time. I definitely need to remember that one. It can't be Harry. Oh, oh, it is. My face is a little dirty, but it's me. Nice big smile, Harry. Together, you and I rate the front page. No well, smile at all. When young Harry. Stepped into Flourish and Blots this morning to purchase my autobiography, Magical Me. Oh, yeah, I'm with Ron. Fuck this guy. Week atop the Daily Profit bestseller list. Malfoy, snitch ass. Bet you love that, didn't you, Potter? Ripping pages out of books? I hate him. Now, now Draco, play nicely. Lucius Malfoy. Lucius. We meet at last. He looks Forgive just you. as dastardly as Draco. The scar is legend, as of course is the wizard who gave it to you. Voldemort killed my parents. Lord yes, Lord. I said his name. I said his name, dog. That's right. No fear. You must be very brave to mention his name. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Oh, very foolish. Yes, Draco's told me all about you and your parents. What's to tell? Muggles. Oh, her parents aren't magic? Tatty. Second hand book. You must be at the Weasleys. Why does the Malfoy family hate the Weasleys so much? 
What's the use in being a disgrace to the name of wizard if they don't even pay you well for it? We have a very different idea about what disgraces the name of wizard, Malfoy. Ooh, let him know. Associating with muggles. See you at school. Okay, makes sense why Malfoy is such a freaking bastard then. His dad fucking sucks. No point in being that hostile just because, I guess because you follow the rules? Your son was snitching last movie for people breaking rules, alright? You need to be slaying his ass off. What the fuck? Why can't we get through? I don't know. The gateway sealed itself for some reason. The train leaves at exactly 11 o'clock. We've missed it. Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. The car? A word. Ron out here, big brain energy. He said, why would we take a train when we can have a flying car? Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, pull up! Even Hedwig, Hedwig was like, oh damn. Hey, there you go. Okay, don't wreck though, Ron. Uh, I feel like wrecking a flying car is a super death sentence. Just land on top of the train, dog. We should have just been cruising, Ron. I'm out here about to lose my life because you. Nice. Keep that thing steady, Ron. I feel like Hogwarts does not have a parking garage, though. Welcome home. Nice. Yeah, look at that big smile on Harry's face. Oh my God. Please don't wreck. Your engine can still fail even though it's a magic car. Okay. And you broke your wand? Dude! <laughs> My wand? Be thankful it's not your neck. Facts. Harry. Glass half full kind of guy. Oh my god, this tree is jumping the car? What the hell? Why is this tree so aggressive? <laughs> I thought Dumbledore was all seeing, bro. Come save us, man. <laughs> oh my god. That definitely would have been the death blow. Jesus Christ. I would never go near that tree again. Car said, I've had enough of this shit. Dude, what? Seriously, the car just said, fuck this shit. <laughs> just got my ass whooped for no reason because of y'all and peaced out on them. Just drove into the dark forest. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Snape bringing the freaking pain right now? But were you in Slytherin and your fate rested with me, the both of you, would be on the train home. They are not. Yeah, shut them down. Professor Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall. Hey, what's up, Mrs. Cat? These boys have flouted the decree for the restriction of underage wizardry. I am well aware of our bylaws, Severus, having written quite a few of them myself. Oh my God, what a flex. It is for Professor McGonagall to determine the appropriate action. We'll go and get our stuff then. What are you talking about, Mr. Weasley? Yeah, you're not going nowhere, you're dog. Spell us, aren't you? Not today, Mr. Weasley. Hey, not today. But I must impress <laughs> on both of you the seriousness of what you have done. Why was Snape doing the disciplinary actions in the first place? I'm glad Dumbledore stepped in and said, Hey, Snape, real quick, shut the fuck up. Deal with your Slytherin people. We got enough problems with Malfoy. Tell me the properties of the Mandrake root. Yes, Miss Granger. Hermione. Mandrake or Mandragora is used to return those who've been petrified to their original state. The Mandrake's cry is fatal to anyone who hears it. These that plants cry? Mandrake. You grasp your Mandrake firmly. How loud is it going to be? That is creepy. Uh, come on, Neville. All right, good to be here again. Oh my God, not with tape. Is there not a magic spell to fix the wand? Hi, Harry. I'm Colin Creevy. I'm in Gryffindor too. Colin, don't be treating me like some damn paparazzi. Why is Ron's owl so derpy? Bloody birds are menace. 
Low key, it's a baller though. It just laid there like, ugh, another day. Weasley's got himself a howler. A howler? Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? Oh my God, why would you not open that somewhere private? Oh, and Jenny dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Shout out to Jenny. <laughs> You may find yourselves facing your worst fears in this room. Know only that no harm can befall you whilst I am here. I must ask you not to scream. It might provoke them! Man, what the hell is that? Little gremlins? Cornish pixies. Pixies? See what you make of them. No! You just release it in the whole class? I got Neville by the ears? Hey, somebody step in and help my guy, Neville. Pixie pest of Nobby. I thought you said no farm could fall upon us while you're here, man. Even the artwork's running away. <laughs> what? Everybody, bow to Hermione. Where do you think you're going, Flint? Quidditch practice. I booked the pitch for Gryffindor today. Easy wood. I've got a note. Note from who? Uh oh, I smell trouble. Severus Snape, do hereby give the Slytherin team permission to practice today, owing to the need to train their new seeker. You've got a new seeker. Who? This uh, Malfoy is a wannabe. What a scrub. Those are numbers 2001s. How did you get those? A gift from Draco's father. Of course. My father can afford the best. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got Ooh. some pure talent. Harry drafted freshman year, baby. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. She'll pay for that one, Malfoy. Eat slugs. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Have you not caused yourself enough embarrassment this movie? It's been on fucking 20 minutes, dude. And you've already fucked up so many times, man. Oh my god. Wow. Can you turn it around, Harry? No, Colin, get out of the way. Can you get out of here, Colin, dude? What the hell? Oh my god. How many is going to throw up? I hope Malfoy loses, though. You might can buy your way onto the team. I don't mean you got skill. Than they do, but wait till it stops. I'm afraid. Oh my god, how many? How many? Better out than in. Who's Ron trying to curse anyway? Malfoy. He called Hermione. He called me a mudblood. Hagrid? <laughs> dirty blood. Mudblood's a really foul name for someone who is muggle born, someone with non magic parents. Someone like me. See, the thing is, Harry, there's some wizards, like the Malfoy family, who think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. That's horrible. Poor Ron. <laughs> oh my god, please make it stop. More to the point, they've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. Hey. I love Hagrid. So sweet. Don't you think on it for one minute. My God, that just warmed my freaking heart. I love Hagrid. Hagrid. Nothing bad better not happen to Hagrid in this this marathon. How did Hermione get magic abilities if her parents are normal? What? Sorry? That voice. You didn't just hear that, man? What are you talking about, Harry? <laughs> Let me rip you? What the hell? Kill. Kill. Harry! Did you hear it? Hey, what? That voice. Hey, my man Harry's hearing voices out here. It's moving. I think it's going to kill. At least Harry's got some real ones that'll follow him wherever these voices are coming from. Fucking spiders, too. Strength. Maybe Dobby was on to something. Maybe something weird is happening this year. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. The Chamber of Secrets have been open? Why is that a big deal? What's in the Chamber of Secrets? It's Filch's cat. Did they kill the cat? Bro, we're going all out this year then. Don't take a picture of that word. This That's the first time he's had an emotion that wasn't he angry or weird. My cat. What? I'll kill you! I'll go. Obviously, Harry didn't kill the cat, you dumbass. What? Everyone will proceed to the dormitories immediately. Everyone except you three. Damn. 
We're always getting into some damn trouble with Harry, Hermione, and Ron. The trio. She has been petrified. Ah, thought so. So unlucky I wasn't there. I know exactly the counter curse that could have spared her. <laughs> Dumbledore. Perhaps Potter and his friends were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. However, I for one don't recall seeing Potter at dinner. I'm afraid that's my doing, Severus. I was about to say, I've been in detention. Harry was helping me answer my fan mail. We just found him when he said... Yes, Miss Granger? When I said I wasn't hungry. Mm. Mm. Harry keeping that in the back pocket? Innocent until proven guilty. Do you think I should have told them? Probably. No, Harry. Even in the wizarding world, hearing voices isn't a good sign. <laughs> I love that. She's right, you know. Dang, you can't be talking in front of these pictures. They might be freaking tattletaling on you. Yes, Miss Granger. Professor, I was wondering if you could tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah, we're all wondering it. Well, you all know that Hogwarts was founded by the four greatest witches and wizards of the age. Godric Gryffindor, Helga Hufflepuff, Rowena Ravenclaw, oh. and Salazar Slytherin. So the houses are the four people that started mm. Hogwarts. Okay. Salazar Slytherin wished to be more selective about the students admitted to Hogwarts. Slytherin had built a hidden chamber in this castle. He sealed it. The heir alone would be able to open the chamber and unleash the horror within. And by so doing... The horror? ...of all those who were unworthy to study magic. No such chamber has been found. Why is Salazar got a, a monster in the chambers? But Malfoy, the heir of Slytherin. Well, maybe wrong, right? <laughs> Crab and Goyle must know. Even they aren't that thick. But there might be another way. Mind you, it would be difficult. Not to mention we'd be breaking about 50 school rules. 50? And it would be dangerous. Very dangerous. We survived a tree attack earlier. I think we can handle this. Okay. The Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to transform himself temporarily into the physical form of another. What do you mean? If Harry and I drink that stuff, we'll turn into Crab and Goyle. Mm. Well, how long will it take to make? A month. A month? A month? God damn! Yeah, but it's the only plan we've got. Smash cut to the second Quidditch game of the franchise. Let's see how Malfoy does his seeker. Dang, we just cut straight into this game. We didn't even get the intro. Nice. My God, have some spatial awareness, my friend. Damn. Let's see if the game's gonna be rigged in this one. Let's see how much money uh, Mrs. Cat put on this one. You can tell there's some animosity between Snape and Mrs. Cat. And it's definitely over their underground bets of this shit, I'm telling you. What this, Scarhead? Scarhead, whoa. Weave. Watch yourself, Harry! Watch yourself, dog! I was about to say, I weave that shit just fine. Oh my god, this thing's hawking his ass down. Harry's got himself a rogue bludger. That's been tampered with, that ass. I'll stop it. Bro, I am telling you, people are always fucking cheating. Man, Harry's got this. Look, it does barely any damage. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if I'd want to be a spectator in this sport. Yeah, look at you. Why are you over here talking shit? Harry's out here trying to win the fucking game, bro. My god, this whole stadium's gonna collapse all because of this thing. Who would be tampering with it, though? Hmm? Malfoy's dad? Rigging the game? Is that how the Malfoys got so rich out here with their underground gambling? I'm telling you, there's conspiracy out here. Good. Good. Look at you looking like a freaking derp. You're not even as good as a mug blood. Scrub. Scrub blood. Hey, that's Malfoy, scrub blood. Hey, is that two years in a row? My guy has caught the golden snitch? Hey, isn't this thing supposed to stop now that we've ended the game? Thank God for Hermione. You know how many times Harry should be dead? And Hermione has saved the fucking day. I think my, I think my arm's broke. Not to worry, Harry. I will fix that arm of yours straight away. No. Not you. Oh, poor boy. He doesn't know what he's saying. Now, <laughs> <this> <laughs> Not you. Brachium. Emendo. 
Okay. Oh my god, what the uh, fuck? Yeah, well, ha that can sometimes happen. Um, but What's wrong uh, with him? The point is... Uh, Oh my god, that is actually kind of fucked up. I'm not broken. Broken? There's no bones left. You've got jelly arms, man. Mr. Malfoy, stop making such a fuss. You can go. Yeah, shut up, Malfoy. You're fine now, bastard. I can mend bones in a heartbeat, but growing them back. You will be able to, won't you? Oh, I'll be able to, certainly. But it'll be painful. I, that professor sucks. Lockhart? <laughs> Idiot. Hello. Yeah, what's up, Dobby? Harry Potter should have gotten back home when he missed the train. It was you. You stopped the barrier from letting Ron and me through. Indeed. Yes, sir. How powerful was Dobby? He could just cancel magic like that? At least you would be away from here. Dobby thought his bludger would be enough to make Harry Potter see that your bludger. You made that bludger chase after me. Most aggrieved, sir. Why, is Dobby? Dobby, you could have killed Harry. Or I might strangle you. <laughs> I don't suppose you could tell me why you're trying to kill me. Not kill you, sir. Never kill you. Dobby, why do you care so much? Before Harry Potter triumphed over he who must not be named. We house elves were treated like vermin, sir. Dobby is still treated like vermin. <laughs> He's just a troubled little house elf. Oh, don't blow your nose in your shirt, dude. Dobby can only be freed if his master presents him with clothes. Man, somebody give Dobby a shirt. Tell me, who is it? Damn it. Dobby, why do you care so much about me, Harry Potter, right? But also, why are you trying to kill me with the bludger, man? There's been another attack. Perhaps he managed to take a picture of his attacker. Colin! You got petrified, man? Oh, man, he's got his eyes closed. That's sad. <laughs> what should I tell the staff? The truth. Tell them Hogwarts is no longer safe. Why are we bringing this potion in broad daylight in the middle of the girls' lavatory? That's a good point. No one ever comes in here. Why not? Moaning Myrtle. Who? Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> she haunts a bathroom? There's got to be something better to haunt out there. <laughs> okay. I was about to say, she's pretty dramatic. Why are you haunting a bathroom, Myrtle? Professor Dumbledore has granted me permission to start this little dueling club. Dueling club? To defend yourselves, as I myself have done on countless occasions. You brag a lot, but you fucked up everything so far. My assistant, Professor Snape. Okay, now Snape, I, I give a little more credit to, I'd say. One, three, Expelliarmus. <laughs> Damn, Snape just flattened his ass. Expelliarmus. And if I had wanted to stop you, it would have been only too easy. Perhaps it would be prudent to teach the students to block unfriendly spells. Facts. Potter, Weasley, how about you? Might I suggest someone from my own house? Malfoy, perhaps? Snape, why has Malfoy chosen to be the rival of Harry? Malfoy has proven that he is not good at anything. He's not extraordinary in anything, except being a freaking Why scrub. Scrub blood. Scared Potter. No. There you go. Talk that smack, Harry. Let him know. High noon shit right here. Look at this. Two. Bro. He just cheated. Is nobody giving a fuck? Nobody said three. Uh, blow his ass back. <laughs> right on his ass. Seven sort here. Block it. You summoned a snake out of thin air? Ivanaska. What the fuck? What are you playing at? You think I did that? I didn't summon the fucking snake, dude. 
Harry's got a history talking to snakes. Not a very common gift, Harry. This is bad. What's bad? I heard you speaking parcel tongue. Snake language? So he was speaking parcel tongue speak at the zoo. Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. Now the whole school's gonna think you're is Harry great, the great, heir? Great or something. Yeah, is I'm Harry not. the heir? You were supposed to go to Slytherin based on the sword and hat, and you said not Slytherin and went to Gryffindor. And this person. Oh my god, this dude's gonna think. Oh my god. I fucking hate this guy. No, Mr. Filch, you, you, you don't understand. I swear I didn't. This is out of my hands, Potter. Sherbert Lemon. Sherbert Lemon? <laughs> what? Oh, a little staircase. Is this the, the Harry Potter world's version of an escalator? These pictures sleep. I'm so interested in the like the expanded information of the pictures. If anyone's got some info on the pictures and how they work, how they're asleep, I want to know. Be in your bonnet, Potter. I was just wondering if you put me in the right house. Yes, you were particularly difficult to place. But I stand by what I said last year. You would have done well in Slytherin. This is how Dumbledore gets his mail, some badass bird. <laughs> just, <laughs> just burst into flames? <laughs> what the Professor, hell? Your bird. It just fucking exploded. It just combusted. Fox, it's a phoenix, Harry. A burst into oh, flame. Oh, okay, that, that actually makes die, sense. Reborn from the ashes. It's like shedding your skin in the most violent way possible. Just burst into flames and now I'm a baby again. Tears of healing powers. Professor Dumbledore, sir. It wasn't Harry. Hagrid. In fact, I'd be prepared to swear in front of the Ministry of Magic. Hagrid! <laughs> Hagrid's a real one, man. I do not believe that Harry attacked anyone. Is there something you wish to tell me? You should tell you should trust Dumbledore and tell him, Harry, please. No, sir. Nothing. If there was someone to tell, it would be this pimp right here. Very well, then. And Dumbledore knows, man. Dumbledore knows everything. We already know this. Back in some cheery music. Some nice snow. We're happy to be at Hogwarts. Nobody's being petrified or anything like that. It's Christmas time. Merry Christmas. Every Harry Potter movie is a Christmas movie, it seems like. And now... I understand why it's the perfect marathon for the holiday season. We also need to make sure that the real crab and Goyle can't burst in on us while we're interrogating Malfoy. That's smart. How? I've got it all worked out. I filled these with a simple sleeping draft. Well, maybe, maybe I should do it. Yeah, right. Why can we not get him a new wand? Guardian Leviosa. No way. Just floating cupcakes? Are they going to actually fall for that? <laughs> Don't trust floating food, kids, because it's definitely been drugged. Look, hey, he's got freaking the equivalent of being roofied in the Harry Potter world. We have exactly one hour before we change back into ourselves. Probably tastes like death. I think I'm gonna be sick. You have to drink all of it. Me too. My god, your skin starts boiling? Jesus. That's some graphic magic right there. Does he still need glasses when he's in this form? But where's Hermione? I don't think I'm going. You go on without me. Hermione, are you okay? Go! You're wasting time! Come on. Why are you staying in the bathroom? Crap, cool. Where have you two been? Why are you wearing glasses? Uh, um, reading. I didn't know you could read. <laughs> this would be weird to see the friendly side cure, of Mal Malfoy. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. You're wrong. Oh my God, mind your emotions. You're undercover right now. You think there's someone here who's worse than Dumbledore? Harry Potter? You might have just saved yourself. 
Good one, Goyle. You're absolutely right. <laughs> and people actually think that he's the heir of Slytherin? But then you must have some idea who's behind it all. Well, you know I don't, Goyle. I told you yesterday. Is this yours? Thief. I've and a scrub. Scar. My guy's scars leaking through. Oh no! Y'all gotta go! Hey, where are you going? That was close. Hermione, come out, we've got loads to tell you. Go away! Wait till you see. It's awful. Hermione, what did you do? Also, shouldn't you be, like, back normal now? It was cat hair I plucked off Millicent Bulstrobe's robes. Look at my face. Turned into a cat! Look at your tail. <laughs> oh no! Yuck! Damn, hard works is flooding? Myrtle, what are you doing? Business and someone thinks it's funny to throw a book at me. But who threw it at you anyway? Yeah, I word. No, I didn't see them. And it fell through the top of my head. <laughs> Myrtle is quite the character. Did something horrific happen in that bathroom with Moaning Myrtle? Is that why she haunts the bathroom? Tom Malvolo Riddle. Who is Tom Malvolo Riddle? Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. Whoa. Talking book? Chamber of Secrets. Mmm. Might get a scary answer. Yes. That's pretty ominous. Oh, me. There you go. Perfect. Why the fuck not? Throws in the fire. But I can show you. What the hell? Did Harry actually just get transported? Are you Tom Riddle? Hello, can you hear me? Looks like he's frozen. Mmm. Riddle? Um, Hang Dumbledore's been around the block. I had to see for myself if the rumors were true. I'm afraid they are, Tom. Is there something you wish to tell me? No, sir. Nothing. <laughs> Dumbledore and his glaring eyes. Evening, Hagrid. I'm going to have to turn you in, Hagrid. I don't think you meant it to kill anyone, but... You can't. The least Hogwarts can do is make what? sure the thing that killed their daughter is slaughtered. It wasn't him. Aragog never killed no one. Never. Stand aside, Hagrid. Sistam Aperio. <laughs> I'll have your one for this, Hagrid. You'll be expelled. Tom was out here snitching on Hagrid, and Hagrid said it wasn't even him. Whoa. Yeah, it was pretty wild. We don't even know this Tom Riddle. He yeah, sounds word. Like a dirty rotten snitch to me. He is a snitch. Hey, there you go, Ron. He is a snitch. This match has been cancelled. You and your teammates will go to Gryffindor Tower now, Potter. You and I will find Mr. Weasley. There's something that both of you have to see. Oh no, what is it? They froze Hermione? She's like the fucking powerhouse of the goddamn team. I mean, at least she's not dead, right? She's just petrified. Unless the culprit behind these attacks is caught, it is likely the school will be closed. We've got to talk to Hagrid, Ron. We're not allowed to leave the tower except for class. I think it's time to get my dad's old cloak out again. Word. My God. Hello? What's that for? What if he just point blanked you, man? Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? What do you have to understand about that? His... <laughs> Quick, under the cloak. Both well, who the hell is coming to visit Hagrid now? Professor Dumbledore, sir. Good evening, Hagrid. That's boss, Minister of Magic. Don't say nothing, Ron. I want it understood, Cornelia, that Hagrid has my full confidence. Albus, look, Hagrid's record is against him. I've got to take him. Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. Already here, Fudd. They're taking Hagrid to prison? What are you doing here? And what exactly is it that you want with me? The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. This is an order of suspension. 
We'll find all 12 signatures on it. So get rid of Hagrid and Dumbledore? However, you will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Whoa! That gave me a little shiver. <laughs> he looked straight at him. I'm telling you, Dumbledore is a fucking pimp. I love him. If anybody was looking for some stuff, then all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. Yep. <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, someone will need to feed Fang all over the way. Just awkwardly like, eh, so, uh, by the way, just follow the spiders. Okay, that's it. That's right. Hey, man, he said follow the spiders. How are there so many damn spiders? Also, go ahead and give my man Fang a little plate real quick. Come on, Fang. Oh, shit, Fang's coming on the freaking adventure. Let's go. Welcome to the team, dog. You're replacing Hermione. You know anything about spells? Because we're, uh, we're down a brain here. Who is it? Um, is that you? It is not. We're friends of Hagrid. We are we are best friends with Hagrid. Is that a giant talking spider? Like, dude, when I, I'm actually Hagrid's brother. That's how close I am to Hagrid. Please. You're Aragog, aren't you? Yes. Hagrid has never sent men into a hollow before. He's in trouble. Up at the school, there have been attacks. They think he opened the Chamber of Secrets. That's a lie. Then what did kill that girl 50 years ago? It is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. Aragog seems like a cool giant spider. Thank you. We'll just go. Go? I think not. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command. It's... What? Bro! Goodbye. Friend of Hagrid. Hey, Hagrid would be devastated right now. Yeah, we could definitely panic. I thought we were safe. I thought we were all good, but these spiders are fucking crazy, man. God damn, that's a lot of spiders. Fucking car coming in clutch right now? Deus Ex car, baby. He said, get in, blood. Let's go. <laughs> Dang, get fucked. Alright, start flying. This is a good time to start flying. Do not stop. Glad we're out of there. Whoa, my god. Oh my god. Arania. <laughs> nice. Thanks for that. Yeah, let's fucking get out of here dude i'm surprised uh that spider just disregarded them he's like hey haggard's in trouble and he said hey by the way kids go ahead and eat up on these dudes i could give a fuck there you go go ahead and fly out of there jesus christ how many kids do you have aragog where's this car going now man just going back in the woods to be free i guess we know one thing haggard never opened the chamber of secrets Somebody frame my man Hagrid. This is why Hermione was in the library the day she was attacked. Instant death awaits any who meet this giant serpent's eye. Spiders flee before it. Wrong. This is it. Giant the serpent. The Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk. That's why I can hear it speak. That's what you've been hearing when it's saying kill? About that girl 50 years ago. She died in a bathroom. What if she never left? Myrtle. That's Moaning Myrtle? Even when Hermione is frozen, she's out here with the knowledge being the goat. Hermione! Amazing. We'll leave you to deal with the monster, Gilderoy. Your skills, after all, are legend. Then call him out? I'll just be in my office getting, uh, getting ready. Who is it that the monster's taken, Minerva? Ginny Weasley. <sighs> Took Ron's sister? Professor, we have some information for you. The fuck Are was you that? Going somewhere? You leaving? Uh, well, yes. Um, you hitting the road? Unavoidable. Uh, gotta go. After all that stuff you did in your books? Books can be misleading. You wrote them. My dear boy, do use your common sense. 
My books wouldn't have sold half as well if people didn't think I'd done all those things. You're a fraud. He is a fraud. I've just been taking credit for what other wizards have done. I'm rather gifted with memory charms. Otherwise, you see, all those wizards would have gone blabbing. In fact, uh, going to have to do the same to you. Hey, quick on the draw out here. Ron's want to turn you inside out accidentally, okay? You better watch yourself. Ooh, I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes over there by that sink. This is it, Ron. I think this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. In the bathroom? Myrtle, have you not seen this shit coming out? Have you not seen that if this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, have you not seen this come out every single time? Myrtle, why have you not told us this? What are you doing? That looks like a long fall. If you die down there, you're welcome to share my toilet. Thanks, Myrtle. Hey, see, and that's how you know Harry's a gangster. He didn't say that was weird or anything. He said, hey, I appreciate it. Heart of a lion, this one. Ron. The adventure ends here, boys. That's a broken wand anyway, though, pimp. Say goodbye to your memories. Oblivion! Look at you, dumbass. And now you've woke up the fucking snake, man. That dude sucks. <laughs> he just really? erased his own memories. Really? Who, who am I? <laughs> I don't even know who he's... Lockhart's memory charm backfired. <laughs> he hasn't got a clue who he is. Oh, no. I'll go on and find Jenny. Okay. Yeah, Ron, you just chill. I'm gonna go handle business like I do. Jenny. Dang, there's Jenny. These chambers do look very secretive. Jenny. She won't wake. Tom. The fuck Come is Tom in. doing here? Are you a ghost? A memory preserved in a diary for 50 years. Oh, this is just a memory. Please don't be dead. Wake up. You're just a memory. How can you grab my wand, pimp? Give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. No, she couldn't. Why? Because I told her to. Killing mudbloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target has been you. And you walked right into the fucking chamber's secrets, man. Why do you care how I escaped? Voldemort was after your time. Voldemort is my past, present, and future. I am Lord Voldemort? <laughs> what? You're Voldemort. Voldemort's real name's Tom? Nobody's scared of fucking Tom. <laughs> That's why he changed his name. <laughs> Dumbledore's been driven out of this castle by the mere memory of me. He'll never be gone. Not as long as those who remain are loyal to him. Dang. Phoenix? Fox? Look at that. What's in here? So this is what Dumbledore sends his great defender. He sent him the sorting hat? So just the memory of Voldemort is out here causing trouble. Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort against the famous Harry Potter. How about you give me my wand back and we can fucking duel it out, dog? Snakes coming out of the mouth? Oh god. That is a big snake. Come on, here you go, wholesome ass son. Why are you falling? Bro, is Fox like that? Oh my god. Harry, do not watch. This is not a spectator sport, Harry. You gotta fucking run, brother. I can still hear you. Oh, blinded. These rats are like, oh shit. <laughs> Bro, that is a big fucking snake. Harry, that was brilliant. Now, Harry, I need you to go whoop Tom's ass. We ain't calling him by his evil name. We're gonna call him by what he actually is, Tom. In a few minutes, Ginny Weasley will be dead. 
and I will cease to be a memory. You gonna take over Jenny's body? Fucking sword just appeared out of that? Can we also have a few other things appear out of that? Like can Dumbledore fucking army crawl out of there too? That'd be great. Weave. Harry might be a weave god, by the way. This dude has weaved everything thrown at him so far in this franchise. Physically. Oh yeah! Harry with the fucking moves, man. Through the brain. Minus a thousand points to Team Slytherin. Y'all suck. Your mascot just got fucked up by Harry. I don't even know what uh, Gryffindor's mascot is, but I don't think it got fucked up like that. Look at you, Tom. What you got in your hand? Was that the one of the teeth? I guess you have little more than a minute to live. You'll be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. What are you doing? Yeah, you should have just closed your freaking trap, Stop. Tom. No! Look at you. Oh, yeah. The blood coming out of there? Oh, so this is like a voodoo doll. Voodoo book. I'd be fucking multi-stabbing. Multi-stabbing. Harry, I'm, you got to do like prison shank type shit to this thing, okay? All right. The boy who lived. Three times now, baby. Think Harry's gonna die to someone named Tom? <laughs> Come on! It's called Harry Potter, not Tom Riddle. Bro, Fox might be the greatest pet of all time. Of course he'd be the pet of Dumbledore. Oh yeah, Dumbledore said the tears can heal stuff. Yeah, I don't want a, I don't want an owl. I want a phoenix. Holy shit. How strong is Fox? It is only fitting that you both receive special awards for services to the school. Hell yeah, Dumbledore. Thanks. And now, Mr. Weasley, if you would, have an owl deliver these release papers to Azkaban. Hey, we gotta get our... Uh, free our man Hagrid. Spent time in jail for no reason. What's the compensation for something like that? Huh? You must have shown me real loyalty down in the chamber. Nothing but that. Could have called Fox to you. So Fox only came because you're a real one, Harry, basically. <laughs> Bro, this dude, get out of my face. Dobby. Dobby, what are you doing here? So this is your master. The family you serve as the Malfoys. Bro, no wonder Dobby's so scared all the time. This oh, bastard is the freaking come. owner. Dumbledore, please fold his ass up like a lawn chair. Hold him up like a to-go box and send him out for delivery, dog. Get out of my fucking office right now. The culprit has been identified, I presume? Yeah, but it's classified. Voldemort. Ah. Only this time he chose to act through somebody else. Mm. I see. The consequences for the one responsible would be severe. Bro, is Malfoy's dad Team Voldemort like that? Bro, don't kick him. That... Come on, dude. That makes me so sad. Mr. Malfoy! I have something of yours. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, sir. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. You do? Oh! Master has given Dobby a shock. What? I didn't... Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Hey, loophole. Get fucked. Lucius. <laughs> Good shit, Harry. You shall not harm Harry Potter. Damn, Dobby just blasted his ass. He's probably been waiting to do that for years. Hey, with it. Hmm, that word. How can Dobby ever repay him? Just promise me something. Anything, sir. Never try to save my life again. <laughs> okay, hell yeah, Dobby. You free, brother.
A happy ending if I ever saw one. All exams have been cancelled. Dumbledore! Greatest headmaster of all time. Hermione said, oh no. <laughs> Come on, Hermione. Dumbledore basically said, this year's on me. And look at the goat! The goat is back, baby! Sorry I'm late. The owl that delivered my release papers got all lost and confused. Some God damn. Bird called Errol. Ron, why did you use your own owl? The worst owl of all time. If it hadn't been for you, Harry, and Ron, Hermione, of course, I'd still be you nowhere. So I'd, I'd just like to say thanks. There's no Hogwarts without you, Hagrid. Facts. Hey, we're clapping. I don't care if nobody started clapping yet. We're fucking clapping, damn it. Hagrid's probably my favorite. He hasn't done anything crazy badass just yet except for giving fucking Dudley a tail. But god damn it, I love Hagrid. He deserves it. Standing ovation. Wrongfully blamed for opening the chamber of fucking secrets. Look, a tear in his eye. Now that's heartwarming. That is a fucking heartwarming ending right there. Another great year at Hogwarts. What a great ending to the second movie of the Harry Potter marathon. I will say I really enjoyed the expanded lore in that one. That was what I was hoping for in this. There's a lot more Dumbledore in this. We learned a little bit more about Voldemort and how his real name's fucking Tom, which is hilarious. But that he was, you know, mischievous little guy, and, you know, 50 years ago. Very interested to see, you know, the, the evolution of learning about Voldemort and kind of... He, what he's willing to do but now what this movie actually did very interestingly is Dobby pretty much sets up that the Malfoy uh, Lucius or whatever the dad of Draco bad straight up bad team Voldemort I think he aligns himself with the you know muggle or muggles or scrubs gotta kill all the muggles uh, excluding Harry because Harry being the main character I love Harry uh, but Dumbledore, Hagrid, and Hermione are my are my triple threat right here. Really love them. And I'll even say, uh, while Snape had a, a one or two moments where I was kind of like, mm, come on, man. He was much better in this movie after getting his name cleared from Professor Quirrell in the first movie. So I, I do, you know, I at least see Snape as a teacher. But him kind of reprimanding uh, Harry and Ron in the beginning... It's like, bro, that's not even your place. This is Professor Cat's place to do that, so you need to just get the fuck out of here. But anyway, I could talk about this movie for hours and hours because I really did love it. So far, one and two are both pretty good. I like the the world building and like whimsical magic stuff that was in the first one. Um, but the second one was a lot more like kind of hit the ground running with the magic, right? So I'm trying to think. I'm, I might like the second one just a little more than the first one right now. And I'm hoping to keep that trend going with the third movie coming out real soon. So thank you guys so much for watching along with me. Make sure you subscribe to The Dork Side so you don't miss out on the Harry Potter Marathon during the holiday season. It's been a blast so far, so I appreciate you guys watching along with me. And for my Harry Potter experts, if there's anything that I need some extra explanation on or anything you want to clarify in the comments, feel free to hit me with that knowledge. Just try to keep it. Uh, spoiler free for me that's all I ask if you give me some extra knowledge just make sure it's not going to spoil anything in the future because I'm having a lot of fun kind of unraveling all this as I watch along so love you guys appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one peace